Many times when we're working with documents, they tend to be similar documents with similar features, but we may change some text or we may change some graphics. If you think about a newsletter or perhaps a flyer or sale flyer, these are often, again, the same structure but with different images and different text. InDesign has a feature that allows us to create templates for documents that we can then use again and again. I'd like to begin this lesson by opening a template and then we'll show you how to create a template. Browse to the Chapter 3 folder in your Lessons folder and you'll see a document there called Chapter 3 SaleFlyer.indt and INDT means InDesign Template. When we open this template, it will create a new InDesign document that is untitled. That means that we'll have to perform a save as when we're finished making changes to the document. Let's open the template document now. You'll notice that you'll get a message about missing links. You can ignore this now. We'll talk about that in the next lesson. You'll see that this document looks kind of strange. First of all, it seems to have some empty areas. Let's zoom in in the lower right hand corner to see better. Select the zoom tool and then click and drag to zoom in. When you release the mouse button, your view will zoom in on the area you selected. You can also simply click with the zoom tool and that will zoom in where you click. Click here between the discount coupon and the logo to see what I mean. InDesign will also automatically center where you click the zoom. To zoom out, you can hold down the Alt key on a Windows computer or the Option key on a Macintosh and then click. When I hold down the modifier key, my magnifying glass has a minus sign in it. Click and you zoom out. All right, let's take a closer look at what we've got. You'll see that there are two coupons. However, the coupons don't have real words in them. They've got what we call placeholder text. Placeholder text is an InDesign feature that allows us to fill a text frame with copy when we don't really know what's going to go there. In practice, we'll replace this with the actual coupon description. You also see a box with a big X in the middle of it. That is an unfilled graphics frame. In another lesson, we'll see how we can fill that frame with a graphic. For now, I just want you to see that this document is indeed a template and that we will need to make some changes to it. You'll also notice that it has a default name, in my case, Untitled 16. Yours may be different, but it will always say Untitled followed by a number. After you make changes to your template, then you would save the document with a new name. For now, let's save this document and call it Monthly Flyer. Under the File menu, choose Save As. Browse to your Chapter 3 folder and call it Monthly Flyer. When you're done typing, click Save. Now we have the beginnings of our InDesign document called Monthly Flyer. Let's say we'd want to save this as a template that we could use again and again. To create an InDesign template, simply open an InDesign document and then choose Save As again from the File menu. This time, instead of choosing InDesign CS5 Document, choose InDesign CS5 Template by clicking on the menu here. Notice that its file extension changed to INDT. Click Save to save the template. You'll notice that the name of the template didn't change to Untitled. That is because we're still working in the template. Close the template now and then reopen it. You'll see monthlyflyer.indt. Double click it. Don't worry about this, we'll be fixing this in the next lesson. And now we're back to where we started, but the name of the document is Untitled again. If you'd like to open a template that you've already saved, then you need to use the File menu. Choose File, Open, select your template, and then choose Open Original. If you select Open Normal, 
which is the default behavior, then InDesign will open the template as an untitled document. If you choose Open Original, it will open the template itself. Make your choice and click Open. You'll find that you'll get this missing links message frequently when you're working with templates. Many times we use graphics as placeholders in our templates and we'll be changing them anyway as we update the document. Once again, you can click OK to close this dialog. Now you'll see that we have the monthly flyer.indt open and we can make changes to it and then we can save the template. When we say save and not save as, it will save any changes that we make to the template. It's now safe to close our template and the untitled document that we just created.